man. We got that ass. <laughs> what's up, man? Yes, sir. Bounce that ass has finally got you in the hot seat, nigga. BDA, what's going on? Talk just about the story behind erotics and the bitch for Beckon Bees. Hmm. Bitch quit begging, erotics. It all started from bitch quit begging. My roommate had this dog, yo. She was just like begging for anything. You can have like some air in your hand, she'll beg for it. You can have like a crumb on your nuts, she'll beg for it, bro. It's just crazy. So she's a beg for shit so crazy that to the point where the house just came up with a phrase and saying bitch quit begging. Dude, man, I made t-shirts, t-shirts is cool, but then I made the knitted caps and those really blew up. Yeah, erotics was just part of my lingo as well. I just call everything erotic for some reason. I don't know why. It was some shit I had going on. So I just named the whole thing erotics. You know, bitch quit begging. It's just the need of cats. So, fuck yeah. Okay. Okay. So as a skateboarder, which I presume you are, you've been watching you. Yep. yep. Uh, in what ways does your skateboarding influence your craft and the process of designing for erotics? Uh, well, I guess you can say the skateboarding just allows me to just be free bro just have all the creative fucking freedom i want man it's just like no matter what whatever's going on in my life i just won't even think about it because the skateboarding is just the only thing i'm focused on at that point so like, after a good session just come home and just cook up some graphics and just, just have a whole bunch of ideas just back to back to back and then you know i just put them out yeah skateboarding does a lot as far as how i create okay so walk us through a typical day in the life you know as being an erotic ceo and you know how to balance your passion for skateboarding with your artistic missions and what else comes with running erotics like talk to us about that a typical day is me probably just starting off going to gym dummy early probably like around six and then getting home probably like around 10 11. eat a nice meal try to clear my mind a little bit before i get on my computer i like to start my days on my computer just like to see just like what direction i want to take the whole day in. Um, set my day out, do a couple of touch-ups, write some things down, and then probably just go skate during the day and then come home and just end the rest of the day on my computer designing or Photoshop. Okay. Okay. So now with erotics, who do you feel like this brand is for or belongs to? Erotics is for douchebags and dickheads. <laughs> Not really. Um, it's for people who just like don't give a fuck and just, like aren't afraid to speak what's on their mind. So um, I feel like it's a challenging brand because it's an edgy statement that you gotta bring your hat, bro. Literally, every time I go out, I have to figure out why people are staring at me. But I forget what's on my fucking hat. So um, for the most part, it's for people who just don't give a fuck. You know, it's a challenge, man. Are you scared to wear it or are you just, you know? So I feel like it's for people who just like a challenge in life. Okay. So as a clothing brand owner, what struggles do you deal with? Damn, probably just like, I'm just probably just so hard on myself sometimes, bro. Like a million people could tell me like an idea I have is just so fire, so cool. But I, if I don't fuck with it, then it's just, or just like, I think otherwise of it, then it's just like, shit would never see the daylight. <laughs> Sexy. Amazing. Where do you see yourself in erotics in the future? Uh, I see, bro, I see myself just having this complete creative freedom, creative freedom and just pushing out any ideas that I want or have just whenever or just however. So shit, bro, fucking toilets, erotic house, bitch quit bagging TV, bitch quit bagging clippers, bitch quit bagging barbershop, you know, bitch quit bagging bananas, you know, any, any fucking thing, bro. I just want to just have that creative freedom to just do whatever and put out whatever I want. And I got, I feel like I got a pretty, pretty decent amount of dope ideas as far as like clothing. I want to be completely hands-on and just doing anything I want, you know? Um, any last words for a bounce that ass community? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, what's your purpose? You know, what you wake up and do it for every day? You just gotta know that before you want to dive into anything in life. So, um, to just always pray, keep praying. And then just, yeah, just go. Just do it, bro. Whatever you want to do. You only got one life, so just push that motherfucker. Are you pray? Every day. Okay. Every day. Do you pray? No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Stank ass. Okay. That was good.
Yo, what's going on, man? Hey, appreciate you motherfuckers for tuning in to the interview. Ah, hey, yeah, so, <laughs> so bounce that ass magazine, yo. Tell me if you guys was fucking with that shit, bro. Please tell me, please. I was trying to give everybody like a little insight of how, like why I started my brand and uh, just what motivated me to start it. I got so many things that are coming up for the brand. You guys will not understand. Socks. I got do rags. I got sweatshirts coming out. I got more beanie colors. Socks. All types of shit, man. Erotic socks. Erotics is definitely this year, 2024. I got big plans. Big, big, big plans for erotics, man. Big plans. Just wanted to thank everybody who's inspired me and just. Continue to just motivate me to tell me to keep going. Son, stop from school. Glad you pack it up. Got school in the morning. Fuck you, mom. Alrighty, son. Love you. Anyways, uh, guys, just keep on tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment some bullshit. Tell me something you don't like. I want to hear all the negative energy. I want to hear it all. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to do your thing. Do your thing for me. Do your thing for me. Don't say that. Boom. Oh,